In this video, I will show you how to get started doing your own pixel art in Microsoft Excel. And this is not only fun, but it's a great first lesson in school for students that are just learning how to use Excel. So if you're not already aware of pixel art, you might want to go to bing.com or google.com and do a search. And after doing my search, I'm going to switch to images. So it'll just give me images, not websites. So you can see a whole variety of examples of pixel art. These are popular because of Minecraft and also popular to use as avatars and things like that. Now because of the grid that you see in the background in a lot of these images, Microsoft Excel is actually quite ideal for people to create their own pixel art. So let's get started preparing Excel for me to do some pixel art. So here I am in the Excel workbook that I want to use. And the first thing to do is to change the width and height of the cells in the Excel workbook. To do this, all I have to do is click here in this exact spot in Excel. That highlights everything in the entire worksheet. With everything selected, now I just go and put my mouse between any two of the column letters. So I'll go between B and C, and I'll click and drag, and I'm going to change the width. And if you look here, it will tell you the width in pixels. And it doesn't matter too much what you choose. I'm going to pick 50, 50 pixels. There we go. And now I can click and drag between any two row numbers and do the same thing. And I'm just gonna make sure that it's also 50. Okay, now I have a perfect grid for pixel art in Excel. At this point, all I really have to do is use the Excel fill color tool or paint bucket to start creating beautiful art. If you can't come up with any ideas to create your own original art, you might want to start by going to bing.com and doing an image search for something that you would like to draw in Excel. So for example, I'd like to draw a watermelon in Excel. This looks good, so I'll click on it, maybe click on it again, and then I can right click, copy image, and then back in Microsoft Excel, all I have to do is paste it in. And I'll just pull that to the side a little bit, and it just so happens that this watermelon image fits almost perfectly with the cell widths and heights that I set up. Now, if that's not the case for you, you could try a couple of things. One thing to try would be to shrink the image or make it bigger so that it matches up more or less with the squares that are made up out of the cells that I resized. I'm going to undo that because it was already almost perfect. Okay, so now all I have to do is kind of copy what I see here and draw it out in Excel. To do this, you may want to use the zoom slider. That might help to get a better view of what you're working with and what you're trying to copy. And so I'll just click over here and I'm gonna try to click approximately in the same location as this red part of the watermelon. I might not get this perfect, but that's okay. So right there. With that selected, I'm gonna go up to the home tab and there on the home ribbon in the font group, I'll use this paint bucket or fill color tool. I'll click next to it to be able to pick the right color to use. And I'm just gonna use this red color. It's approximately the same as what we have here. So I'll just click there and it puts in the red. Okay, so now I need to put in a bunch more red. And so that's gonna get kind of old. Clicking on the next cell and then clicking this red button, clicking on the next cell, clicking red. So here's a shortcut to make this easier and more fun for you. And I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit so it's a little easier to see. All I have to do is select one of the squares that I've already painted red and then click here on the Format Painter. Now many of you are probably aware that if you click on the Format Painter, whatever is selected gets copied. And wherever I click next, let's say here, gets formatted the same way. It's a Format Painter. But watch this little trick. If I do the same exact thing, select the cell that I want to copy the format of, and then instead of clicking on the Format Painter, what if I double click? If I double click, it lets me paste or paint that same format more than once. So I have five red squares so far, and here I have three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I need to add three more, and I can just keep adding those. Why? Because I double clicked on the Format Painter button. Okay, now I can add in some more red, just copying the image that I have over here on the right. That looks good. And then I can just continue to add more red in the appropriate places. Give me a minute to finish adding the red and then I'll resume the video. Great, I'm ready now to add more colors to my drawing. 
And I think to help me see this better, I'm just gonna click and drag and pull the image that I'm copying a little closer. So now I can select the pixels that I want to turn black. I'll just start with this one and I'll go up and click to turn it black. Now another shortcut that you might want to use, in addition to the Format Painter and double clicking on the Format Painter, look what else you can do. I can click here where I want the black seed to appear and then I can hold Control on the keyboard and click the next square where a pit should be, and then the next, and then the next. So I have four squares selected, and then I can go up and click the paint bucket, fill color, and choose black, and they're all turned black. I'm going to use that same technique again to put in the pink color. So I'll click in the first spot that should be pink, hold the control key, and then I'll just click to select all of the other cells, or squares in this case, that should be the same color. Okay, now at this point, I could go back to the paint bucket tool and do a random guess of that pink color, and it would turn out fine. I could try this one here, and that looks pretty good, especially when I click away. Or I could click to go into more colors. I could pick one of these pink colors here or go to custom, and then try to get the exact color of pink that I would like to use, and click OK. However you want to do it, that's close enough for me. Next, for the green colors, I can use either strategy. I could click and then paint that square a lighter color of green. Let's say that. With it selected, I could double click on the Format Painter, and then wherever I click, or even click and drag, it will turn green. So as you recall, that's one method for quickly putting in colors in Excel. And then the other method was to hold the Control key, select all of the cells, and then pick a color. Now I still have the Format Painter activated. So I can't click without adding another green square. So to fix that, all I have to do is click on the Format Painter and it's deselected. Okay, so to review the other method for quickly adding color, I'm just gonna click, in this case, on cell 06 and then hold the Control key and then I'll just proceed to click or click and drag on a whole series of cells. We'll see if I have done this right in just a second. Okay, with all of those selected, I can go up to the Paint Bucket tool and choose a darker color of green. Okay, so there we have my finished pixel art masterpiece of a slice of watermelon. At this point, I don't need the drawing that I copied, so I can just click on it and delete it, and I'm left with a beautiful pixel art of a slice of watermelon. I can zoom out to see what it looks like when small. I can zoom in to get a really big view of it, whatever I want to do. Now that I'm done creating my pixel art, if I wanted to, I could go up to File and choose Export, and I could create a PDF out of my artwork. I'll just save this to my Downloads folder, and there is the PDF document that I've created. That, of course, could be printed or used in a variety of other ways. Now back in Bing, I want you to see some of the amazing examples of artwork that could be created this way using this pixel method in Excel. I could create a pixel art dragon, a car, a horse, and any number of other amazing pixel art projects. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do subscribe, click the bell and you'll be notified whenever I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, you can do that through my Patreon account, and you'll see a link to that in the description below.